Today we are going to apply a below knee combi cast. It can be used for all ankle injuries, including Weber fractures and lateral ligament ruptures. The materials required for a below knee combi cast are two rolls of 7.5 cm Benicast Flex, one roll of 7.5 cm Benicast Select Polyester, three pieces of Benicare stockinette, two to three millimeters adhesive felt for the negative padding, three pieces of 50 millimeter Benicast hook and loop. Start with applying one layer of stockinette extending from the toes to the tibial tuberosity. The limb needs to be in the correct position which is plantar grade before you begin the application and maintained throughout the procedure. I'm now going to apply a second layer of stockinette as the first and then third layer that will sit along the posterior aspect of the limb between the two layers of stockinette for protection during removal of the cast. Ensure during each application of stockinette there are no ridges or wrinkles. I'm now going to put two pieces of adhesive felt that have been pre-cut to provide negative padding over the bony prominence. Using the Benicast Flex, which is a semi-rigid casting material, I will use it dry as it laminates to the stockinette better and will allow more working time for the clinician with less experience or the difficult patient. I'm now going to apply my examination gloves. It's important that gloves are always worn when applying synthetic casting materials of any kind to protect the skin. Starting at the proximal end, covering approximately 50% of the previous turn, working from one end of the limb to the other, using very slight tension, keeping the roll very close to the limb to give you even pressure. I'm going to come below the first metatarsal head and catching the fifth metatarsal. Ensure that it laminates nicely. To provide the rigidity for the cast, a four layer slab is required using Fenicast Select Polyester. Measure from the proximal tibia on the medial aspect to the proximal fibula on the lateral aspect. Trim each extremity of the splint, removing all square edges. Dip the slab into water and apply the slab to the limb. However, if working alone, position the splint anteriorly to assist with correct positioning during application. I am now going to secure the splint and using the second roll of Benicast Flex to speed up the setting time, I'm going to wet the bandage. As with the first, I will start to bandage at the proximal aspect, covering 50% of the previous turn, ensuring the splint is fitting securely around the heel. And as with the first bandage, stay under the first metatarsal head, capturing the fifth. Dip hands into bucket and mould cast into the contour of the patient's limb. The cast will take four to seven minutes to set and as the second layout is wet, it will take four minutes to reach the green stage of polymerization. Now I'm going to mark the cast for safe removal. Marking posteriorly, starting at the centre of the cast, moving down to the side of the tendon Achilles between the malleoli around the calcaneum.
I'm going to cut along the guideline, putting the scissors just under the piece of stockinette that is integral to the cast and running along the piece stockinette we used as protection for the patient. You need to keep your scissors parallel to the patient's limb. As you come down to the heel, you may start to feel a little bit of pressure on your scissors. I would suggest changing your scissors and start using surgical wire cutters, often referred to as nibblers. I am now turning the patient back over and just putting my fingers under the heel and sliding the cast off the patient's foot. Remove the excess stockinette from the patient's limb. I'm now going to trim the cast at the proximal and distal end, making sure there are no raw edges. To reapply the cast, you need to tie a knot into the stockinette. This will prevent any ruching of the stockinette on the limb. Give the cast a slight stretch at the ankle to assist with the ease of application. Slide the cast back onto the patient's limb, easing the knot through the distal end of the cast, ensuring it does not cause constriction and the cast is secure and comfortable on the patient's leg. There are a number of ways to secure the cast, by bandage or hook and loop. Fold the stockinette back to ensure the limb is protected. This is a finished below knee combi cast. Sign up to the Benacare Academy to download a PDF step-by-step -step application guideline of this tutorial and be the first to watch when we launch new videos. benacaremedical.com forward slash academy Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to see all our latest products, videos and competitions. If you require more information on our products and training, please visit our website benacaremedical.com